I want to say this for just a moment. Psalm 72, verse 14 declares that God is the God that redeems us from oppression, fraud, and violence. This will begin to take place. The other thing that God has been specifically speaking, this is the 245th year of America's reign. And I believe that it represents two more terms for 45. Or two terms for 45. But I hear the Spirit of the Lord says, why is there so much fear that has gripped the hearts of those who have listened to the voice of my prophets? For they have listened to the sound of lying spirits that have spoke in this time and in this age. But yet my spirit is not and has not been void from this nation or the earth. And it is the spirit of truth. Therefore, I have brought this meeting. For it is I that have declared that you would gather in the place, the music capital of this nation. Because sound always proceeds manifestation, says the living God. Therefore, there shall come from this night forward an acceleration of my hand. Look to the sound of the fireworks as they lit up and sound throughout your skies this day and even following. For it is the sound of the cracking of my fists that shall break the strongholds that have been upon a previous time and a previous era. But this is a new era, says the Lord, that shall bring forth new political figures, new faces. There shall be the stench of death that shall fill the air across your nation. Do not be moved by that which will take place in the natural. For many smoke screens shall arise in the moment of the shift. Many smoke screens shall arise to make you think that nothing is happening. But God says, do not be moved by the wind that will seek to arise among the east coast or the gulf. And it shall be at times they shall come back-to-back -back storms, simultaneous. God says, this is not my hand, nor is it the hand of my judgment. But God says, this is the work of the hand of the enemy who seeks to devour, who seeks to kill, who seeks to steal, and who seeks to stop what is about to take place for the prayers of the people are being answered. And it's about this time, says the Lord, that they shall be brought into manifestation. Watch very closely, for I am bringing forth a uniting to the United States. And there will be the gathering of the masses that will begin to take place across the nation and even among the earth. You say, what are the gathering? God says, it is the sound of celebration that shall begin to fill the streets. Why would they gather? For God says, I am the God that has declared before that I shall restore the years that the canker worm and the locust has stolen. Therefore, the celebration that shall fill your streets. And yes, I will force the airwaves to say it, to report it, to show it, says the Lord. Because I shall restore in this day what you have stood for and what you have prayed for. And God says, listen very closely. What you voted for shall be restored. Do not be moved by political maneuvering. Do not be moved by threats of changing of the guard. For God says these things shall seek to arise in this time. To strike this earth and this nation with fear and with confusion. But the only confusion that shall arise shall be upon those who are afraid, who shall turn upon themselves, who shall blow the whistle, and they shall begin to tell upon one another. And God says, listen closely this night. Not only has my finger being put upon this nation, but look at my thumb. I am causing there to be fingerprints of evidence and trails that shall lead to their demise and to great exposure that shall bring great reversal, says the Lord. 
And it'll not just be my thumb, but pay attention to thumb drives that shall shift you into the momentum of what I have been declaring that by the end of this year, you will see that I am the God that has stood by you, for you, and brought you through, says the living God. Robin. Pray. Pray, says the living God. Yes. For they would even desire to strike this nation with an act of terror. Mm. To divert yes. the attention from what is about to be restored yes. and what is about to be celebrated. Mm. They are afraid. For the cards are already falling, the yeah, dominoes right. are already in place, right. and God says they seek to create a diversion. Yeah. But your prayers that prayed that caused 45 to be elected is the same prayers that I will stop and I will expose the hand of terror that would seek to strike even through your summer. Yeah. The Lord says, I will listen and I will restrain if my people shall pray. As we come to your gracious and mighty throne, we thank you that you have declared that we would receive grace, mercy, help in the time of need. You did not say that we would have to ask. You said, come boldly. Therefore, we say that we have grace, mercy, and your help upon us and upon this nation. And we say from this place, the Grand Old Opry, something grand is taking place. And we say across this nation, let there be a new sound, a shift to this nation now. We pray, Father, as your arm is not so short that it cannot save. Save this nation. Let the shift begin. And may your host be released now to accelerate the plan of heaven that the people shall rejoice. I pray a fresh anointing. I pray a fresh grace. I break the power of fear, anxiety, intimidation. And I say, come off of the people. And I loose now upon them a peace, an understanding, and a knowing that the Lord God has not forsaken them or this nation. And just like you said to Israel, you said, you will see. Stand still, you will see the salvation of your God. And so, Lord, we take a moment now to stand before you. And we lift up our heads and our voice to heaven and our eyes. And we say, we stand before you from this place. And we say, we will see the salvation of God in the United States of America. Place your hand upon 45 Raise up his voice even stronger and let your kingdom come. Your will be done right now. We say it begins.